everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are back with another subscription box Sunday and this guys is going to be a big one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six different boxes to share with you guys. Plus next week, there's gonna be a lot of fun things going on in the subscription box world. So wanted to remind you of some of the really cool things happening this coming week. So today for the boxes that I have to share with you guys, I have the Fruit for Thought box for April, 2021. The Obel or Obel, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, Glow Ethical box. The Naked Beauty box for April, 2021 the mint mongoose for April, and the good vibe scribe box for April 2021. And actually I said and, but I also have a public goods haul to share with you guys as well. I literally picked that box up in the most awkward way and showed it to you guys in the most awkward way possible, but here we are. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and let's jump in. Now I will timestamp all of the boxes as well as when I talk about dates and things that are happening next week down below because I know there's a lot going on in this video. So we'll get things kicked off with the Fruit for Thought box for April 2021. If you're unfamiliar with Fruit for Thought, they are a monthly subscription and each month is themed around a fruit, vegetable, or some sort of food. I think this one might be apricot peach, something like that. We're gonna find out in a minute. Um, now this box is $39.95 a month um, and it's kind of like a lifestyle box. So you get tons of different things from like beauty, home decor, food, like all sorts of cool things around that theme each month. Um, this was sent to me free for review as were the majority of the boxes today. In fact, probably all of them were sent to me free for review, so I did not pay for them. Um, and I do have a coupon code for the Fruit for Thought box where you can get 10% off your first box. All the codes and everything will be down in the description box below. All right, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Fron, fron, foodie paper. <laughs> What just happened? Fun fruity paper. Okay, well, mm, my brain hasn't turned on today yet. Ooh, uh, I was right. It is a peachy apricot theme for April. The May theme is lemon lime. If you're curious about the themes and everything, if you go to their website, they show multiple months of what the next themes are going to be in case you're interested in signing up or if you already signed up and you're curious. So, ooh, I love this. I'm a huge fan of like fruity things, so I'm very excited. All right, I'm gonna start off with the biggest thing and I've seen this spoiled and I am so excited about this. So this is what it looks like and it's confusing when you look at it, but this is the Orchard Peach Cast Iron Wax Warmer Set with deliciously scented wax melts. So this is really awesome. This is what it looks like. It is basically set up like a little cast iron pan. There's peach shaped, peach slice shaped wax melts that you put in top and you put a candle and you, oh, it's just like so cute. So this is by Classic Farmhouse Candles. Um, and I think they threw in some tea lights for us as well to use. I have some tea lights as well. I wanna take this out of the box because I saw this spoiled on their Instagram and I was like, whoa, that looks amazing. At first I didn't realize it was a spoiler. So, oh my God, it's a legit mini cast iron. So that's awesome. So you put the wax melts here, you remove the label. Here are the wax melts themselves. So they legit look like peach slices. Okay, those smell like peach and bananas. And I love that. They legit like the molding even has like the details of what a peach would look like. Oh my gosh, so you put those in the pan. And then you have this little guy where you put the tea light um, down below, your cast iron pan, and this, I wonder, you could probably use this cast iron pan like as a mini egg pan or something. Uh, if you wanted to, but I don't know if you're allowed to cook with it. I'm just saying that. But anyway, you put them in, I mean, not in the plastic, you obviously take them out, but honestly, that is the cutest thing ever. And I'm definitely doing this today because I'm excited. And I am seeing a two little tea light candles unscented in the box that you can use um, with that. Ooh, the next thing that I'm pulling out looks really, really cute. This is by um, Blue Hero Farm Indiana. Um, and it's made with fresh goat milk. This is their apricot freesia scented um, whipped sugar scrub. Ooh, I love sugar scrubs and whipped sugar scrubs. I definitely get use out of them. Um, so it has a hint of spring freshness in a blend of freesia and apricot. They, you can use the code fruit15 for 15% 15 off anything on their website. I wanna, this is sealed, but I wanna open it and smell it because I know I'll use this soon. <gasps> okay, y'all, look at that. That is so stinking cute. Okay, it smells incredible. It smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to use it. I love to use scrubs before I shave my legs and things like that to help loosen up the hair follicles. Ooh, 
that is like I was not expecting the butterfly and I am literally obsessed with that. I'm definitely gonna have to check out more on their website. Okay, the next thing out I think is a pair of sunglasses. So it comes in this cute little case, kind of peachy colored. And yes, it's a pair of sunglasses. So it looks like basic sunglasses on the front, but it does have like the pretty coloring on the back. So they're peach and apricot colors in the case. I don't wanna put them on, on because I don't wanna ruin my makeup because I have lots of videos to film today, but that's what they look like. I think they're, this type of sunglasses work on my face. These are the perfect, I call these good car sunglasses if you live in the South because it's all plastic around the nose. Um, so you can leave them in your car and put them on on a hot day. The problem is if you have those metal prongs around your nose and you leave them in your hot car and you put them on your nose, you will burn your nose and I have done that. So these are perfect car sunglasses. So that's probably where I'll put them and I do really love the case and the kind of apricot peachy kind of um, colors. The next thing in there, I guess there was supposed to be a Sweet Peaches hair scrunchie listed on the card, but they also put a note saying that they um, they had a problem with one of their vendors, so they don't have that, but instead, um, Eclair Lips um, provided a lip balm, and it is peach pie flavored lip balm. That sounds like it would smell incredible. I'm not gonna open it right now because I literally have like 50 lip balms open, not literally, but I have a lot of lip balms open that I'm trying to get through before I open another one, so, but I'm sure this smells incredible. I love, like I said, I love fruity scented things, and so I will definitely probably love this, and I love using lip balms. Okay, and then last but not least, we have some really fun, um, yummy snacks. So the first one is from Betty Louise, or Lewis, um, and this is their, apricot wow my brain just it's an apricot fruit bar it's non-gmo vegan gluten free um and that looks really really yummy so it's gonna teach like pe pe te seriously what's wrong with me i have so many boxes to get through and i can't talk this is gonna be a fun one but anyway this looks so so yummy and i can't wait to try it and then a little bit healthier even is some mini apricots dried and pitted so these are prunes right no that's when you do plums. So these are apricots that look like prunes, but these are not prunes. Well, I wonder what that's called. They're like dried apricots. What are dried? I'm sure there's a thing for them, but these look really good as well. I know not everybody likes things like this, but I personally do. Um, good source of fiber. So I am excited. So that was everything in the fruit for thought box for April. I really love the theme. I think I'm most excited about the scrub and this wax melt because this wax melt thing is to die for. And then this sugar scrub, I'm legit going to have to go check their stuff out because that is really, really cute decoration. And it smells so, so good. It smells really fresh, which I love. So let me know your thoughts on the fruit for thought down below. Again, I have a 10% off coupon and let's jump into the next box. All right. So next I'm going to jump into Abel, Ubel, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. And they sent me their Glow Ethical Box. Um, so they do have like a monthly sample size subscription for beauty products, but this one is one that you can purchase as a one-off and doesn't include a monthly commitment. So this includes 10 sample products. Um, they said that they might have included extra in mine just because they sent it to me for review, but normally if you got this box, it would come with 10 sample size products inside. They offer many subscription options too that range from five samples to 30. And I think their mission is really cool. They say here that they want to make it easy as possible for anyone to discover cruelty-free, organic, women-owned skincare and hair care brands. So they teamed up with 20 small businesses so far to provide the samples in their boxes, which is awesome. It says here also that the brands that they teamed up with are also on wonderful missions that range from improving our environment to employing human trafficking survivors. Um, every box shipped is unique to the subscriber and they allow each individual to take a personalized quiz that asks questions like, what are your favorite scents? What are your favorite product types? Um, so that these can be tailored to you. So I think it's super duper fun. It does also have a scan here to learn more about your samples, which I will do. So if you, I'll leave a link down below. I don't have a coupon code for this. Again, this was sent to me for free though. I'll leave a link in case you're interested, but just know that there are subscription and non-subscription options. So here, it says here, congratulations, you're discovering new brands without ever leaving your home. And then there is the um, card there. Ooh, it's, I, I will say it smells really good. And they're also using like shredded newspaper as the packaging, which I love because that's obviously very environmentally friendly or maybe magazines even. All right, so I have pulled all the samples out. There look like there are some really fun, different kind of things here. So I'm actually kind of excited because it's not just little packets of things. There's little bottles and things too. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is the Flora and B Eyes Eyes Baby Eye Cream. It's for anti-aging and firming. So this is a sample subscription. So you will get some um, 
you know, these packets. I know not everybody likes them, but I do think that this is fun. So I love trying new eye creams. I've had some problems with eye creams lately, so I do, I'm trying to find ones that um, are better for my eyes. I think my under eye area is sensitive, even though other skin on my body isn't, um, but very excited to try this. And actually there's like for an eye cream, there's a decent amount, like this is a good size for eye cream. I also pulled up their website. So it looks like if you sign up for the subscription, you, for $12.99, you can get five samples a month for six samples, $14.99 and six samples and one full-size items, $20.99 a month. And then they do have the this box, the one-time purchase one is $20. Um, for the glow pack, there's a radiant pack that comes with 20. So this comes with 10. If you get 20 samples, it's 40. If you get 30, it's 58. So those are some options as well. The next thing that I'm pulling out is a goat's milk moisturizer by Little Seed Farm. It repairs and renews, and it's made with organic ingredients. I do think this is a great way to learn a more about smaller women-owned brands because I feel like the market is so like penetrated with really big skincare brands. Um, so it's fun to try new things out. And again, there's a good amount of moisturizer in here as well. Okay, the next thing out is by Lauren Brooke Cosmetics, Pure, Natural, and Organic. I don't know what this is. This is their cream eyeshadow in dark cocoa. <gasps> wow, okay, I was like, what in the world is this? Because it does have like a lifted like pack there. Okay, now not the biggest fan of cream eyeshadow, but I do think that this would be fun to play around with. There is like a little dab, dabble dot, I don't know, of it inside. So that actually looks really, really cool to play with. Um, and if you have a darker skin tone, this might even be like, you could, might be able to use this for different things or it could be very natural. For me, this is gonna be very dark as a cream eyeshadow, but um, still really, really cool sample. Okay, then from Lenora, we have their Detoxify Charcoal and Mint Organic Facial Mask. There's eight grams inside. And I think this is probably, is this a powder? I think so. Yeah, pour a teaspoon on palm and add water to activate the powder. Leave on for 15 minutes. Rinse with a wa washcloth used one to two times a week. Ooh, that's awesome. So yeah, this is one of those powder ones, so you can get a lot of use out of what's in here, actually, because you don't need a ton. Um, so, ooh, charcoal and mint. Like, the mint sounds really good as well and refreshing. Ooh, then also from Little Seed Farm, we have this little sample packet, and this is their antioxidant serum to protect and revitalize. So there's like a little vial inside of the packaging. That is really, really cute. This says coenzyme Q10. So this helps uh, protect the skin from environmental stressors of modern life, including blue light, ultraviolet light, and air pollution. And it also helps speed recovery and regeneration. Regener um, so that's really cool. A little tiny little sample bottle inside. So next out, we have a sample from Rahua Body, and this is their body lotion for healthy, luminous skin, 100% natural, rainforest grown. Again, like this is a bigger sample, but this is actually a really good sample for this. Um, so you apply this after the skin, after shower, massage, anytime. I wonder if this has any scent to it. I don't want to open it right now, but it does look really, really pretty. All right, the next thing out is in a little jar, and this is the Apple Rose, I think that's the company, Apple Rose Beauty, and this is their turmeric and aloe moisturizing treatment. So it comes in a little pot. Oh, it kind of has a lemongrass kind of scent to it. So this is a little moisturizer. This kind of looks gel-like, um, which is good for me. Um, and I'm excited. That looks really fun. This is a good size sample. Like these are decent sized samples. Like for a sample subscription like this, I'm actually kind of impressed with the size. I mean, I know there's some foil packets and people don't necessarily love those, but still. And we still have some big, the, I saved the bigger ones till the end. So we still have three more. The next one is by Bare Naked Botanicals and this is our natural deodorant sample. Ooh, awesome. This is in lemongrass basil. So it says, scoop a pea size amount or a little more onto your fingers and rub into the skin of the underarm. You may choose to apply more to work out if you will be participating in an environment of high heat or physical stress. Okay, I, I use natural deodorant, so I'm down for this. If you're not using natural deodorant and you wanna switch, just know that there's a detox period. So if you like got this and started to use it immediately, it probably won't work for you great at first until you get used to it. And then there is a little pot. Um, of this inside. Ooh, it smells really, really nice. So you rub it and warm it in your hands and then you, you know, like it said, apply it under your arms. So actually this is a really, this will last a while because like this, this will last a while for sure. Then we have Purify Botanical Hand Sanitizer. Okay, this is an interesting com compartment, compartment thing, I don't know, for hand sanitizer. Oh, it smells very good. It's very liquidy, so I really can't show it, but it, there is hand sanitizer in there that you can kind of rub all over. Um, to hand sanitize. I'm not going to use it right now, but this is a good one because it's it's really easy to like fit in your bag or your purse or things like that. So 
excited about that. Hand sanitizer is definitely a premium still. And last but not least, I'm like really excited about this. I don't know why. This is the Aromer Ayurvedic mouthwash with neem and pilu. I don't know why, but this a little bottle of mouthwash is so exciting to me because we never get that in subscription boxes. So it has 23 Ayurvedic extracts. It's alcohol-free, fluoride-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and non-GMO. Um, so yeah, that's really, really cool. So those are all the samples that I got in the Obel Obel. I really need to figure out how to pronounce that box um, for the Glow Pack. So I will leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. All right, so next up I have the Mint Mongoose box, I think for April, I'm not 100% sure, but Mint Mongoose is a monthly jewelry subscription. I've definitely seen this being a box for years and years and years, and so I'm super excited that she reached out to me. She did send this to me free for review. Now I'm not 100% sure if this was the April set or not, or if this is just an example of one of the sets that you could get, um, but the jewelry options come in silver, gold, and rose gold, so you can select one of those, or you can choose that she surprises you. Then you can also select if you want earrings or don't want earrings, because I know that some people don't have their ears pierced. And then the subscription itself is $16.99 a month. It's free shipping to the US. I think it does ship worldwide, because I think one of my German followers who also has a YouTube channel, she unboxes this. Um, and then if you sign up for longer subscription periods, you can get it cheaper. So I think it's I'm looking over here, six month is $14.99 or a 12 month, so yearly is $13.99 um, a month if you pay for the whole year up front. So I'm excited to get inside. Okay, this is super fun. I've like seen people unbox this for years and I'm so excited to get it. So it comes in this really pretty kind of packaging with this mint green, um, like ribbon and then the little wax stamp, which I'm obsessed with. And they always come with a Werther's original, which I just love that touch. I think it's so fun. Then there's a little card in here that gives some jewelry care tips. There's a jewelry cleaning cloth that comes inside. I don't know if this is because my first my first box, I don't think it comes with this every month, but that's really cool. And then there's a card for the monthly theme. So this is super fun or for this set. All right, so everything comes wrapped really nicely. So this month's set was inspired by her two kiddos, um, her brother and the brother and sister duo MO5 and Emerson 3. A few months ago, they both started showing interest in something special, which planted the seed for the story that I would lead to this month's jewelry set. I hope it brings a smile to your face. There's a whole story in there too, which I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but this is kind of like moon and star themed, and I just really love that. So they each come with like a little mint mongoose kind of thing attached. So it is a set of earrings and I believe a necklace. It looks like she also threw in a ring for me as well, which isn't a part of the set. So I'll show that as well. Oh, these earrings look so cute. So personally, I prefer gold jewelry. So that's what I selected. It does also look like they have an online shop. So if you want to buy these without um, getting the full subscription, then you could do it that way. I am obsessed with these earrings. They are so cute. I love them. I thought they were the, like the face of them was gonna be a lot bigger than what it is, but they're not that big. I have earrings in right now, so I'm not gonna put them in right now, but like that's the effect. Like they're really little. I don't know, I love these. These are so pretty. They got the gold, they've got the pretty blue. It's kind of like sparkly with the star in the middle. And they do come with these little like rubber backings. You probably can't see that. So they do come with little backings so that they don't slip off your ears. So I'm going to attach those before I lose them because these things are so easy to lose. Oh, okay. I love those. They both have little stars on them. Those are super duper cute. And then the necklace. Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, this actually feels really nice quality. I never know with like, you know, when I try a new jewelry brand or a new jewelry subscription about the quality, but genuinely this feels really high quality. I was expecting it to feel cheaper than what it does and it feels really, really nice. So this is the necklace there that is so gorgeous with the moon and the stars. It's adjustable and it has a lot of different, one, two, three, four, five, has a little mongoose at the end of it, which is so cute. And I just love that. Not actually I could wear this right now. I do have a necklace on, but you can't really see it. But that is so, so cute. I love this. I'm so, she gave me choices to pick from and I'm so happy I chose this one because I really love it. Now on each of the jewelry packets, it did say if you spend $40 on individual items in their online shop, you can receive your next box free. So if you're a big jewelry person, I feel like this is a great way to get jewelry. Now I did say that she included a ring. So let me pull that out. And that was not a part of the set, but here is the ring here. It's actually really pretty and I actually really like it. Now the only thing, this is like kind of a adjustable because it does have that kind of gap there, but I have the world's tiniest fingers. And so this barely fits my thumb, but it actually is a cute thumb ring. I'm like a size, I'm a size five 
and then a size four and a half or a five, and it's sometimes a six, but I usually can't go higher than a six unless it's on my thumb, but I can kind of adjust this and make it work for a thumb ring, and actually that's a really cute thumb ring. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also looking in the viewfinder, not in there, so that's great for me too. But anyway, I'm obsessed. I really love this jewelry. It's really, really nice, and I cannot wait to wear it. All right, next up, I have the Good Vibes Grab box for April 2021. Now, this box is a monthly kind of like a lifestyle subscription. You get fashion, beauty, food, all sorts of cool things inside. It is $45 a month, and you get five full-size products inside of the box. They do have a premium subscription, which is $50 a month instead, and you'll be able to make certain selections of colors, smells, tastes, certain things. You'll make, be able to make those selections if you pay the $50 a month. Now, if you're a six month or 12 month subscriber, you get to do those premium selections as well. Of course, this box was sent to me free for review like all of the boxes so far have been. And I do have a code down below where you can get a free gift with your first box. So they did let me know that they shipped this a little bit later this month. At the time of they, that they sent me the email, you could still get this box. I'm not sure if you can when I'm actually posting this video, but if you select the right, I think there's a selection you can make. And if you pick the regular box, then you would get the May box instead of the April box. So just check that out in case you're interested in this one, or you could just wait till May. So let's jump inside. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. And there goes the paper. So they do tend to feature a smaller brands. And so I do like to read a little bit about the brands when I go through it. Um, and it kind of looks like this is like a, a animal print themed box, which looks really fun. Okay, yep, definitely animal print. Let me get this first thing out. Okay, so we have a tote bag out as the first item. It has a really fun kind of like rope uh, thing there. This pretty leopard, I think this is, is this leopard? I think it's leopard, but I could be totally wrong. I might correct myself. Yeah, it says leopard print. It does have a zip and I love when tote bags have a zip. And then just like a cream interior and a back pocket. Nothing is, no zipped pockets, but one little back pocket in there. The bottom is also that wide. So from there to there, so maybe five inches, six inches, so you can fit a good amount of stuff inside. This is really fashionable. Now the material is light. It's a different material, so I, this might not be the best beach beach bag, but I think is good. I feel like this is kind of fashionable. I don't know, I feel like a lot of times tote bags aren't that cute, and this one genuinely is really cute. So this bag is by Avenue Zoe, and they blend classical style and edgy girl aesthetics into their everyday wearable fashion. So that's super awesome. Yeah, I, I kind of really like this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think this will be super duper fun. Um, to carry stuff around in. I love the rope with the, I don't know. I just, I like the vibe, it's fun. All right, another leopard print item. Now this is an either or product. So you could have gotten this um, Bewaltz leopard print cosmetics bag, or you could have gotten the Rusty Arrow Designs Cheetah Serape Cactus Car Coaster. Um, so let me try to shape this. Ooh, so this is a like good size, that's a bottom, good size makeup bag. This is the kind that you can kind of wipe down. The inside is a brown color, beautiful gold zip with a little um, tassel, not a tassel, but just like a little coin thing there. So this is actually a good size bag. It feels pretty cool as well. Um, so the car coaster that you could have gotten is that one there. So for this, I guess Bewaltz shares and creates lifestyle products in sunny California for you to enjoy and live in the moment. Their mission is simple, to stay adventurous, laugh often, and have fun. Well, that's really cool. Um, I have tons of makeup bags, so I'll probably put this one in a future giveaway. So if you really like this, just know that you might be able to get this in the future. All right, next out, we have these earrings here from All Up In The Hair. These are the cheetah dangle earrings or studs. So again, I think this would have been another choice. I got the studs. They also have like, the, it's exactly the same kind of look, but it's just one hangs and one is a stud. So let me show those up a little bit closer so you can see them better. So they're a woman-owned, mostly handmade company located in North Carolina. They started on a whim when they had made 200 bobby pins for a craft show and sold out that day, and they've been making bobby pins ever since. They now carry a variety of hair accessories and jewelry to help um, show a bit of your personality no matter where you are. Um, so this is kind of cool. I like these. I don't wear a ton of studs, but I do actually really like those. I think they're really cute. They kind of have like a copper kind of color or rose gold, I can't really tell. Um, apparently I don't have good eyes anymore, but <laughs> these are really cute. The next thing out is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Again, there was a choice between the eyeshadow palette and brown eyed girl or peach blossom. I received the peach blossom eyeshadow palette and that is what it looks like. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. The brown eyed girl has more like brownish 
shades. You can see there, I probably would have preferred the brown, but I do really love the peach as well. I just have to be careful because sometimes if I use pinks, I look sick. So they are cruelty free and this is a vegan line. Um, and yeah, I've definitely used Bella Pierre before. They're centered in the heart of Los Angeles. I'll go ahead and swatch some of the shadows here. So that's what they look like on my fingers. And there they are on my hand. They swatch really, really nicely. I do really like those. And I feel like Bella Pierre is a pretty well-known company. So I'm excited to play around with this. This will be a really fun spring palette and it does have a mirror as you can see. All right, last but not least, super excited. It's a bath product and it's a bath bomb and you know how much I love bath bombs, y'all. So this is by The Little Bubble and this is their full moon bath bomb and that smells so good. Oh, it's kind of like citrusy, but it has like a, I don't know. It's a diff, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe they describe it here. So this company is located in the heart of Oklahoma city um and it's created and run by 16 year old bella oh my goodness with help from her mama bubble oh my gosh i love that we're supporting a 16 year old's business i think that's amazing um their soaps are created using the cold press method as well as the melt and pour designs they incorporate local natural organic and sustainable ingredients so this is scented with blood orange and patchouli the patchouli is what i didn't know how to this is kind of like a sexy kind of scent Oh, I can definitely smell that. So you pop in your bath and enjoy the fun fizz. Ooh, I love that. You know me, I love bath bombs. I'm so excited. I am looking for more bath subscriptions, like bath bomb subscriptions to share on my channel. So if you guys have recommendations or if you are a company that has bath bombs and would want me to share them on the channel, definitely reach out to me because I'm just, I'm obsessed with bath bombs and I really only have like the Bath Bevy subscription right now and I want to have more. So, and I know that there's a lot of small brands out there. So yeah but this smells incredible. All right, so that was everything in the Good Vibes Scribe box for April. I thought it was a really fun theme, definitely a little bit different than some of their other boxes with that really strong kind of like leopard print vibe, but I still think it was really fun. So let me know your thoughts down below. All right, next up we have the Naked Beauty box for April 2021. Now this is a fun box because this comes with vegan, cruelty-free and non-toxic beauty products inside each month. This box is $35.99 a month. Again, sent to me free for review. And I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 20% off of your first box. Now, the product value is supposed to be up to $150 worth of the non-toxic skincare products. Um, and I'm super excited. I love the box. Is this different? I think this is a little bit different from last month. It's a little bit more tropical and I love it. So there's a quote on the outside of the pamphlet that says, you know you need mentors, but in the end, you really just need to believe in yourself. Ooh, that's awesome by Diana Ross. And then on the inside, talks about everything we're getting. Y'all, there is a bath product product in here. So that's exciting. We'll start with that because honestly, I am obsessed with bath products as I previously stated. So this is from Wicked Good and this is their coconut milk bath, which retails for $18. So it's formulated with coconut milk powder, which moisturizes, softens, and soothes the skin. The light scent adds an aroma of therapeutic um, element to relax and calm the mind and body. Uh, milk, it does good. The coconut milk bath soak is perfect for all skin types and helps alleviate dryness. Okay, let us smell this. Ooh, that smells like coconut flakes. That smells so good and I'm kind of spilling it so I don't want to spill it everywhere because that smell, it smells like straight up powdered coconut flakes. It smells so, so good. I'm guessing you just like put this in your bath. Um, this is the, I guess this is unscented but because it's made with coconut, you definitely smell the coconut. So I'm super duper excited. You know me, I love bath products. I can't wait to take a bath in this. All right, the next thing out is a really big dropper bottle. I mean, this is like normally dropper bottles are like, not that size. So this is by Recherche Organics. I might have butchered that. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Radiant Serum, which retails for $18. So Hyaluronic Acid makes up 5% of this high quality formulation, um, holding up to a thousand times its weight in water and drawing moisture out of the environment onto the surface of your skin. There is not a more effective moisturizing agent in the world market today. It's non-comedogenic, so it means it's non-pore clogging. Penetrates deeply and activates collagen production for a fresher, younger, firmer, brighter complexion. So yeah, you use this as a serum after you wash your face. Um, and this is a good size. Like this is bigger than the normal serum, all the ingredients listed there. And it's a really pretty dropper bottle as well. Ooh, okay. The next thing out is by Avo Bath. And this is their eccentric bath and body Avo whipped butter, which retails for $20. It's handcrafted to be thick, creamy, and made from the highest quality of shea butter and oils. And it'll leave your skin soft and moisturizer. So the scent is, did I just say it will leave your skin soft and moisturizer? Moisturized. Um, clearly, 
something's wrong with my brain. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So the scent is fresh citrus rounded with hints of lemongrass. Ooh, I cannot wait for this. So shea butter can melt with heat, but it won't hurt the product. So um, you can just put it in your fridge to bring it back to a solid form. So probably don't leave this out like in a sunny spot, especially now that we're moving into spring and summer. That smells really good. Mm. Now this is a super thick, luxurious whipped um, body butter. I tend to use these thicker body butters and stuff for after I shave my legs and stuff because I feel like that's when they need the most hydration. And then I use a thinner moisturizer, you know, throughout the week or whatever, but super duper excited for this. Okay, then from Body or Bodhi, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but I love their packaging. This is the Instant Rejuvenating Mask or Reju Rejuvenation Mask for $52. Woo, okay. Let's. I love the little tube packaging and that is what it looks like pretty big this is uh 1.75 fluid ounces or 50 mils um so it transforms the look of ultra dry skin it replenishes and locks moisture into the skin for a long-term hydrating effect 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 wow okay <laughs> plant extracts condition the skin surface and leave it soft smooth and supple a unique blend of aloe cotton and superfruit extracts delivers visible firmness and healthy radiant glow now i'll be honest with my oily skin yes i definitely need moisturizer and, and hydration but now that we're getting into the warmer months i do have to be a lot more careful about the moisturizing properties that i use on my face they have to be a lot thinner and gel like so i'm not sure if i'll use this now save it for winter or put it in a giveaway but it does seem like a really really nice product specifically if you have dry skin um, but it does sound very very nice all right and then last but not least we have two packets from vivu and this is their wellness strips for twelve dollars basically these have little sticks that you pee on and then it connects with an app and tells you about your health i personally feel really weird doing that but my sister likes to do them so i'll give these to her but they are still really cool you can learn more about your body um through these strips so that was everything in the naked beauty box for april i am super excited i think you know obviously the bath products are my favorite well this isn't this is a body product but i thought it was a good box i'm loving their kind of tropical themed package i think it's a change i don't know because i've only gotten this this is the second time i've gotten this but i'm really loving that again i do have the 20 percent off if you're interested so next up we have a public goods haul and that was my workout for the day <laughs> um now public goods is really cool now they reached out to me and sent me some products for free a while ago i think i did a dedicated video on that and i really really like them they're essentially an online store where you can purchase um different products but it, there is a like yearly membership, which is $59, which is less than $5 a month. But if you sign up, you get free, a free trial for 14 days. So I do have a discount code from them where you can get 15% off your first order with the code below. And you know, you get 14 days free to try it. So you can try it out, see if you like it, cancel if you don't, or you know, pay the $59 for the membership. Um, so I'm super excited. Now, all of this stuff I ordered on my own. They did not send it to me. However, when people sign up for my link, um, if I get a certain number of people that sign up, I get a little bit of money that I can use to spend on the site. So part of this was paid for from you guys signing up through my link. So thank you so much if you did. But I did pay some money for some of this. I think it paid like $6 in the end after the discount or whatever. So they want their products to be beautiful. So the packaging is really cool. Um, but it's also made from sugar cane. So their bottles and things like that are made from sugar cane, which is really nice. It's not a plastic which I love um, and their products are tree free which is also really awesome and they plant a tree for every order because obviously there's paper and stuff used to ship it so for every order you place there is a tree planted so I really love that aspect of the company all right so I picked one two three four five six seven I purchased seven products from them that I want to go through today they have all sorts of stuff so they have food they have home products they have cleaning products all sorts of things so I got primarily food because I was hungry when I purchased the order and then some other stuff as well. So the first thing that I picked up were a packet of candied pecans. They just sounded so good to me. These retail for $6.75 on their website, five ounces. They're sweet and rich with a delectable crunch and they are non-GMO. So y'all know we're about to try these here because I've been filming for like over an hour and I'm hungry and I didn't eat breakfast Did I? I just had coffee. Ooh, they smell really good. They're like candied, but they're not like overly candied, which is probably really good. That's really, really good. I try to eat a lot of nuts because they're a good source of protein and I do have stomach problems. So nuts are a lot easier to eat than like meats and other sources of proteins. This does have four grams of sugar and then three grams added. As I say, four grams isn't actually that bad, but seven, that's kind of, it's not great, right? But it's not the end of the world. 
Um, these are really good. A fourth of a cup is a serving size and they're 200 calories per fourth a cup. Um, they taste really good. Their food, the snacks that I've tried so far are really, really good. So excited for these. All right, then I picked up the dried tortellini soup. This retails for $7, 8.25 ounces. And I believe it comes with like the tortellini, a dry mix. It, the packaging, I'm like looking at my order like so that I can talk about prices. It looks different, but I think inside you get the tortellinis and some like flavor packaging. So what are the directions? In a four quart saucepan, brown sausage and drained fat. Oh, oh, it does say you're gonna need tomato sauce and Italian sausage. Well, I'll probably do tomato sauce. I'm probably gonna skip, I don't really like Italian sausage, so I'll probably skip that. Or I'll throw in a bratwurst because I'm German. <laughs> You know, you, so you cook, cook the sausage, add seven cups of water and bring the spice packets to a boil, add tomato sauce and tortellini noodles, return to a boil, reduce to low, cover and cook for 30 minutes until noodles are tender. I don't know, I love these like type of meal kits because I work a full-time job and I have this YouTube channel and I post a lot. So a lot of nights I finish work, I eat, I go back to work on this channel. So I don't have a lot of like free time. Um, so this type of meals are good for those nights where it's like back to back and I'm not really getting a lot of time to just relax. So I'm very excited to try this. I'll have to let you know how this um, tastes when I do cook it. All right, then I went ahead and picked up some grated Parmesan that retails for $4.25 and is eight ounces. Um, I, to be honest, I needed Parmesan and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get some Parmesan. Um, so it's aged over 10 months in small batches, all natural, sharp and netty, 100% grated Parmesan cheese. Um, yeah, I just, I needed Parmesan cheese and I was like, well, I'm placing an order. Let me grab some. Um, and I do like the packaging. It's pretty, I feel like the ones you get in the store are like green, which I actually love green, but this one's just more aesthetically pleasing. Not that it matters, right? Like, but still. All right. And then the last thing that I chose from the food product category are the oatmeal cookies. These are seven ounces and retail for $3, which honestly, $3 for this is a great price. Now, last time I got the chocolate chip cookies they sent me, um, Georgia Sunshine also did a video on this and she got the oatmeal cookies and she said they're really good. And I was like, I have to try these now because I just, I need to know. I need to know because the other ones tasted like homemade cookies. And so I had just, I have to know. Ooh, they smell really, really good. Those are definitely good. I think I like the chocolate chip better. For some reason I was thinking, mentally thinking that they would have raisins, but these are just oatmeal. Um, and they have like cinnamon and stuff. They're good, but I'm not a, f a huge fan of just cinnamon oatmeal cookies. I don't know, I like raisins. I'm weird, but they're still really, really good. So I do recommend these, but I like the chocolate chip ones better. Next out, I picked up some dish soap. So totally different category, but they have like cleaning products and candles and all sorts of fun things. But I picked up a thing of their dish soap, which retails for $4.25. Wow, you can like see my face really weird through it. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around with that. <laughs> this is 16 fluid ounces. Um, I chose this because I kind of want an aesthetically pleasing bottle to stick out. Um, Cause I do like to have a bottle of soap out, but I do have like, I buy the bulk the big ones that I tend to use, but sometimes I need something really quick and I don't want to reach down and get it. So I wanted to have something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than uh, just, I don't know. I just thought this was really aesthetically pleasing. Let's give this a sniff. Oh, it smells really good. This is their mandarin and basil scent. And you definitely get the mandarin. I think a light hint of the basil. That smells really, really good. So I'm super excited to try this out. Um, I've sometimes had issues with dish soaps. Like I tried, I do not like the Myers dish soap. It made, like if I washed containers with it and stuff, like the food tasted like, the, I don't know, it, it was really weird. So I'm hoping that this won't have that issue, um, but I think it's really pretty packaging. I mean, it's hard to tell, but it's just like plain packaging. It says dish soap, it's just minimal and really pretty. And then last but not least, I picked up toilet paper. Um, I know that's kind of a weird thing to get, but this is their tree-free toilet paper and is a six count. This is made from bamboo and sugar cane. And I was just really curious and I wanted to try it out. This retails for $6, so it's a dollar a roll. But again, you know, um, there's not as much paper waste. I don't know, there's tubes inside. I don't know what they're made out of, um, but it is, a, it is tree free. So I'm excited to try this out. It looks nice. I mean, I'm kind of picky. You know, when <laughs> I'm a little bit picky with toilet paper, like I'm a little bit of a toilet paper snob. Um, I prefer like the Angel Soft or the Target, the Target like generic brand is probably my all time favorite cause you can buy it in huge packages. Um, not that you care what toilet paper I buy. However, I'm curious to try this out and just see how it is. And so I picked up some toilet paper. I feel like a very big adult with like dish soap and toilet paper, but then also I got cookies. So 
you know. So definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Um, if you tried public goods, again, I do have that link where you can get 15% off your first box and obviously then that helps my channel um, and I'll be able to show more stuff on the channel. So if you're definitely interested, check that out. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the fun things that are going on in the subscription box world this week. So first of all, BoxyCharm Choice is tomorrow, Monday, April 19th. So definitely make sure you don't miss it. I keep like logging on late and missing out on my color choices. So I think it's somewhere around noon Eastern that they kind of come out with the choices. Now I do have a spoiler. So if you don't like spoilers, you might want to skip ahead um, for one of the premium products for the May box. So the, it's a, we're making the choice in April for May. And this is from the May premium spoiler is from Bloom Effects, and this is their Royal Tulip Nectar. Now, I do have BoxyCharm send me their boxes free for review. I do also pay for the boxes. Now, they did send me this product to try out, and in fact, I was on a Zoom call with BoxyCharm and the founders of Bloom Effects this past week, and it was really, really interesting. They talked all about this product, and basically, the founder is married to a tulip farmer in Amsterdam. And she decided to use the byproducts of the tulip industry to create skincare. So they used the old tulip bulbs for this. And what kind of sparked her into looking into this is obviously she's married to a tulip farmer and she noticed that when you cut um, tulips, they still regenerate and grow. And she's like, well, why aren't we tapping into tulips? We're tapping in, you know, other industries are tapping into rose and these other flowers, but why not tulips? Because they have this regenerative kind of property to them. And I also love that they do use the byproduct of the industry so that there's even less waste. So the product itself is super duper gorgeous. Now this is a choice product for premium, so you don't have to choose this. I'll be honest, I really like it. I've been using it for a few days now. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a jelly-like consistency and it's very, very hydrating and nice for the skin. Now I know what you're saying, Katrina, you have oily skin, because if you guys watch me, you know. But I've actually really liked this. You use a very tiny amount, so just like a little bit on your finger. I mean, that's all you need if you have oily skin and you rub it in. It doesn't have, it's non-fragrance, but it does smell like tulips because it's made from tulips, but they don't have any added fragrance in it. And it just leaves your skin really soft and glowing. It's great for other areas of the body, like the hands, um, leaves them feeling really, really moisturized. So actually like what I've been doing after I put it on at night, I rub it into my hands, the what's ever left on my hands and my hands feel so nourished. I've been having issues with a lot of hangnails recently. And so this has been definitely helping. Um, super great if you have dry skin because this is super you know, moisturizing. So if you have oily skin, just use a little bit. You can also use it as a sleep mask as well if you don't feel comfortable using it as a moisturizer. And kind of their tip is that um, you know you've used too much if your face feels sticky and tacky. So if you feel kind of awkward putting your face on your pillow because it feels sticky, then you've used too much. You really don't need a lot and there is a lot of product in this. And so I really love it. I think it's pretty. So just know that that's a choice item. I do not know what it's up against, um, but I really, really do like that product and I'm excited to continue to use it. It is a clean skincare brand, so if you're somebody looking for clean skincare, that's definitely a cool thing to check out. Also coming up this week on Wednesday the 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern is the New Beauty Live event, um, which I definitely wanna definitely check out. Um, I definitely watched the last one. They basically go through all of these different skincare products and beauty products and they have the brand owners and people from the brands come and talk about them. It's super fun. The boxes, you can usually purchase a box to kind of go through the products so you'll get everything that they talk about. I missed out, so unless they're sending it to me, I won't get it. They do send me their test tube beauty box now, but they didn't send, I don't think they send me the new beauty live event box at this point, so I won't have the box this time most likely, but I do plan on purchasing the next one because it's really, really fun. I attended the last event, there's giveaways. So even if you're not getting the box and opening it along with them, um, you can go and attend and get the giveaways. It's super informative. You learn a lot about the beauty world and all that kind of stuff. So go over to New Beauty's website to RSVP and you'll get the link to be able to join, but that's 8 p.m. this Wednesday. Then if you're subscribed to the Passionistas Project box and got the last box, they're doing their paint party Zoom session this Thursday the 22nd at 8 p.m. Um, so I have my paint stuff ready. Um, I haven't gotten a link and because they send it to me free for review, I need to check with them to see if I'm gonna be able to join or if I get the link, but there is that paint party on Wednesday, or no, Thursday, sorry. New Beauty's Wednesday, <laughs> paint party is Thursday if you're subscribed to Passionese's pasta, pasta project. 
so don't miss out on that. And then last but not least, I'm working with Decorated, like usual, and summer the summer box is coming soon. However, they wanted me to mention that their new Americana box is coming out as well, which is one of their kind of like add-on boxes, like the Easter, the Halloween, the Christmas, the new Americana is an add-on box. You do have to be a member to Decorated in order to get that box. Um, so wanted to mention that here, just so that you know, if you're into that kind of like, um, farmhouse, new Americana kind of vibe. It's a really awesome box. I've actually already filmed part of the video um, and it's a really cool one. So make sure you don't miss that. I'll leave links down below for if you want to sign up for Decorated for whatever reason, I will leave my discount codes down below. So that's everything that I have coming up in the subscription box world this week. Do you like this kind of segment? I mean, we have a lot of stuff coming up this week, which is why I wanted to add in the segment. So definitely let me know if that's something like you'd want me to continue to include. I will say this week, I do have a really fun video coming. There might be some hair transformations happening on this channel, some temporary ones, and I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. I'm filming them th today. Um, I think it's gonna be a really fun video. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. Got some sister versus sister coming. So it's gonna be a fun week. There's a lot of stuff going on. I hope you guys are excited because I am too. So let me know your thoughts down below on all of the boxes and products that I unboxed here on my channel today. Um, and I will see you in my next video.